All right, guys, in this video, let us create the iframe where the user can actually play the video. So I'm gonna go back to Visual Studio and over here in video detailed component, just above the form tag, I'm going to add the iframe. Now this iframe has a width of 100%, a height of 300 pixels, and the source, we are going to use data binding and then add or assign the video URL. So video.url. So let's build this and check if this works. So ng build. All right, now let's go back to the browser and refresh this. Now I'm gonna click on Angular with ASP.NET MVC. All right, so as you see, the iframe is not working as expected. We do have the iframe, however, the video cannot be played. So to have a look at the problem, let's open the console, so F12. And over here, if we check, we can see the error. So error in video detail component inline template caused by unsafe value used in a resource URL. Now I'm not going to go into the details of this error, but I will show you the solution. Basically this URL is not safe is what Angular is instructing us. So we need to convert the URL into a safe URL and then assign it to the iframe source. And for that, we are going to make use of a pipe. So open command prompt again. And first we are going to generate a new pipe. So the command is ng, g for generate, p for pipe. And then the name of this pipe is going to be safe. Now what this does is, let's go back over here. Now I'm gonna refresh this. So the first thing it does is in app module, app.module.ts, it is going to import the safe pipe and then also add it to the declarations array. And it is also going to create a file safe.pipe.ts with some code. Now again, I'm going to copy paste the code for this particular pipe. So control C and control V and there you go. So what this pipe does is it takes in a URL and then it returns a safer version of the same URL. Right, so what we can do now is go back to our video detail component and over here after video.url we are going to use the pipe character and then safe. So it is this safe pipe is going to accept the video URL and then return a safer version of the same URL. So we can go back over here and then build it again and test it out in the browser. All right, our build is now complete. Let's refresh this. Now when I click on Angular, we should now have the video and we can play this particular video. Okay guys, in this video, I'm going to... All right, so that is how you play a video in an iframe using Angular. In the next video, let us see how to insert a new video into the database. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.